Well, I suppose this could be a supplemental report. It's 6.24 in the morning. Pacific Standard Time, 7. Actually, July 27th, 2023. I'm not going to be doing the usual diary of the Graver named John Weaver or anything else like that. It's just me in the armpit of, Arm of Antelope Valley. One second. Sorry, I didn't want to sneeze in your face. A long time ago, I did heated uh, videos like this. Very much so. Scary as hell to see. Scary as hell to go through. Because I'm pouring more of myself out of it, and it's, I still have a hell of a lot of anger and a lot of resentment. I suppose I still do. Watch different shows that trigger a hell of a lot of things in me. I watch things happening in life, either in person or on, on screen, and just seeing how life sometimes treats other people one way or another, either good, bad, or indifferent, or just screwed up. And the things I keep looking at myself, I'm wondering, am I being true to myself and being true to others, or am I playing the head game? I told myself a long time ago, I have to be, I have to be me. And sometimes it's not a lot of easy to being, because people want. Yeah, they want. What about what I want? What about what I need? And I don't know. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? But I have to keep asking myself those kind of questions. Maybe I am really screwed up. I know I kept looking for stability and strength and courage and stuff like that you know I was looking for things and other people that could help me out and in the process I could try helping them out the reason why I'm so hesitant to trusting people these days is I'm not quite sure whether or not if the support's going to be going both ways or it's just going to be drained out of me and then what I'm looking for the payback at this point I guess What I'd wanted was a family again. Despite all the damn issues that would happen. And I'm not letting that happen, unfortunately. I'm not letting it happen at all where I can actually feel comfortable again. Or let my guard down. Bloodlines grow up and grow all around me and I feel like I'm one of those isolated branches that doesn't branch out with anything else on it. I'm just ready to be pruned, and that's it. I'm just a nub. My line just already got branched, just clipped. Nothing to be remembered, except for a little stump. Maybe at one time my purpose was just to be the stump. I don't know. I'd like to think, if I haven't to keep rethinking things over again, there would have been a way, there could have been a way, there should have been a way for me to say, there's a hell of a lot of miscommunication, a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, if we can't get through that, what the hell are you for, my family, I mean, why are you my family members anyway, <coughs> or theoretical, bloodline. Or even extended. You know, you regret up around you. Yeah, but you didn't. Not for the last 10, 15 years. Longer than that. They lose your own mother. Surrogate mother to me. And I get pissed off about it. And We drifted. And other people I called brothers drifted away. They don't even bother to talk to me anymore. They're probably uncomfortable with the stuff I keep posting out there, which keeps telling them the state of mind I'm in, and 
it pisses me off that the people are dependent upon more for support and safety or security knowing I'm still part of a family but then treated like I'm not <laughs> maybe I'm expecting a hell of a lot more than what should have been Bob said grow up I'm still the kid inside by the kid who's afraid of everything because now <coughs> without a big brother to protect him <coughs> I gotta do my own fighting and I gotta deal with the consequences of that I got no one else to I can lean on Because I don't have the faith and trust in others. For those I kept thinking about, they're, they're my family, they're, they're bloodline, they don't care, and uh, actually they don't care. I pretty much demonstrated that a long time ago. The reason why the other video, the one before this one, I was trying to remark about things I was. I was reacting to, I was watching a, an interview show concerning about what characters were going through in the show and the actors were going through personally. And I was making some comments about it and and I went off track and off kilter where actually it was needed to be said, I guess. A lot of anger that people would feel towards their own family members and their own friends that they can't explain. And having a hard time to express that one way or another, except through stuff that they really, really regret. Do I regret what I'm doing with the videotapes? No, not really. But I know my own pride, my own arrogance would really put, puff up the head and the chest and say, no, not really, ha, ha, ha. Because part of me still wants the communication to get clarification, to get things ironed out. Will there be any growth? Will there be any regrowth? Will there be any rebuilding of nuked relationships, nuked bridges, nuked ground? Of anger, resentment, miscommunications, a lot of fear, a lot of radioactive wasteland recreated. I not even realize how toxic it is. And yeah, the cycle of blame this and blame that, and I ain't taking responsibility. Well, I still have to take responsibility. I still have to be accountable for it, and I have to be transparent about it. I can't keep uh, pointing the finger at people if I know there's my part that I still played in. It doesn't excuse me. I just need it explained, but I don't need the excuses at this point over here. If we understand what the hell happened, Because I know the anger is going to be is going to be trying to find the target at this point over here. It generally does. It looks for the uh, looks for the point to go after and expose it. It's got to feed its own little momentum here. It's like dealing with a damn wildfire growing until you got an entire blaze that you can't even control with a with an eyedropper. I look at myself in the mirror and I'm, I'm wondering what the hell I'm doing these days. What the hell I should have been doing these days. And I don't have any answers for the damn thing. Except going out to people left and right. And in that situation and, and in that thing right there, I am doing the finger pointing and the blaming and 
not even paying attention where the hell the rest of the fingers are being pointed at. Right back at the source. I mean, it's easy enough to go into a camera and, and keep pointing a finger and blaming, blaming, blaming. Or is my part in a damn thing? Yeah, a lot of things are happening to me at this point over here, and yet I've got to find someone to blame about the damn shit because I'm in pain and I'm in anger about it. Isn't that how it goes? I mean, hell, you're walking barefoot into brambles or, or thorns. Don't you realize you're going to get stuck? They didn't even wear any shoes, unless they're going through the shoes themselves. Right through the soles. Or get cut up in the socks and you're, you're getting stabbed one way or another. Some people may just kind of shrug it off and just say, ah, I don't want to deal with it. No, they don't want to touch upon it. They don't want to deal with it. They don't even want to look at themselves in the part. And I have to. I have to look at myself in the part. I have to look at myself in the situation. <sighs> I've seen so much of myself being represented one way or another, it's not even funny. All those nice little Karen situations that happen out there, I am, in a sense, a Karen. I am a Karen. Whatever the hell they came up with that damn shit in the first place, I don't know. And the thing is, it's because I exhibit it, I talk about it, I'm pointing fingers at it. I'm blaming you for this thing because da 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 and you can't do this and you can't do that because I say so. I'm doing the same thing with the with the people around me. Even though they may or may not be part of the family. I'm still doing that damn shit. Last night, some friends, if I called them that, were trying to clean up and move out. They're still using a, a moving van to get the rest of whatever they get, stuff they've got in there. I hardly ever see him except maybe once a week now. But they don't even bother to talk to me. Still hurt like hell, and I did videos about him. Get the message out. Expect maybe get get some kind of feedback on the damn thing. Just to say, John, you were wrong. Well, prove it to me. Prove it to me that I am wrong. Show me the mistakes I have made. Instead of just laughing it off or just snorting it off and just saying, he's not getting it. Well, you're not communicating about what the hell is going on and you failed to do so, so how am I supposed to learn from it? But if I'm not supposed to learn from it, then I guess it really doesn't matter anymore, does it? You're playing the victim again. Stop it. Bite me. How's that grab you? Yeah, that's anger. That's anger. That's frustration. That's being pissed off. Am I righteous about it? I mean, is it correct for me to feel it or even express it? That might upset people left and right. But if I happen to talk about it, I'm not allowed to talk about the damn shit. Because every time there's going to be stuff I'm going to be labeling at other people, I still have to look at myself. See, a long time ago, I blamed others without even looking at myself. What my role in the whole situation was. What my responsibility was. Well, my accountability should have been. Was I entirely transpa uh, transparent about it? I keep talking about a damn thing. Sometimes on my videos. People are not being accountable, transparent, or responsible. Yeah, what about me? Have I been that way? It's not should have been. Have I been that way? 
Because if I'm going to be making a big deal about something over here, I better damn near sure I know what the hell I'm talking about. I have to. Because I want to make sure my head and my heart are squared on this one. <clears throat> if I have to, if I have amends to make, then I need to make them. But if I think I'm righteous about this damn thing, and I know I don't have any amends to make on this one, I'm not inventing the damn story either. But then, I still have to be backing off on it as well. I can go on a holy tirade, and I've already been doing that already in the other videos, <laughs> including the one before this one. Going in a holy tirade and thinking that I am the victim. Well, I'm playing the damn Karen. I am playing the Karen. Oh yeah. Karen go Karen goes up to the to the victim and chills on her ass. And then Kyra said, But I'm the victim. I just heard you, but I'm the victim. And this is what I have to keep looking at myself at this point over here, seeing whether or not I'm actually doing this shit or not. Because I know once I'm crossing those borders over here, sometimes either going to be stepped back or not. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cross back or not. But if I'm going to be doing the damage at this point over here, I ba damn near make sure I'm going to be responsible for the cleanup on this one. I did the mess. I have to make the amends. But even if I didn't, I still have to make the amends anyway. I have to clean up my own side of the street and side here. Even though I may have people ignoring me like crazy. Did I do something? But if I didn't do something, then why am I feeling the guilt about it? I get sick and tired of feeling the guilt at this point over here because I feel like I'm making amends for stuff even other people have done to me. What are we trying to do? A reverse Karen? I learned that a long time ago. In recovery programs. I still have to keep learning a lesson again and again and again. You just don't learn it once. This is what it is about being a human being at this point over here. You gotta do it. You have to keep doing it on a daily basis. You have to keep making amends, and you have to keep taking uh, personal inventory at this point, on a constant basis. Yeah, I said a hell of a lot of ugly things in the previous video at this point over here. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to have that ready for prime time. What after biologics and extended... The theoretical friends. My own inadequacy of and also trying to find substitutions for the people and things I've lost. Trying to find something that would mean or matter more. They're not there. And it's hard to find substitutions for it. Structure, support, family, that matters and gives a shit about me so I can give a shit about them, cover their backs, and they can cover mine. So we did for each other in the family. We cared, we laughed, we loved. We struggled, we survived. They're gone, I'm here. I'm here. What's that mean for me? I don't know anymore. Honestly, oh, God, I don't know what it means anymore. <sighs> I'm not going to be blabbering my way through this one either. I've lost a lot of people in my family. Other people have too. We couldn't just mourn with each other, grieve with each other, try to support each other one way or another. They lost 
important people in her family. So will I. But they dealt with their own struggles one way or another. And what have I been doing? Videotape, 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 videotape. Getting anything and everything out of memories. And past accusations to the current. Am I trying to backstab? No. But am I trying to find some kind of reconciliations? Maybe. If there are any. If there's any help. Uh, elusive. Survive. That's the main thing. Survive, survive, and more survive. I guess that's how it's going to be for a while. And the thing of it is, if there was going to be any reconciliations, I guess it was, wasn't meant to be. Which makes me sadder than shit because I would have liked to have people I could, I could support and they could support me and I have somewhat of an ad hoc family and maybe I'd be inclusive. It's kind of hard to come up with things like that to say. I've been so damn careful of trying to stay away from people. I keep seeing these fishing attempts. But they're not legitimate. Sometimes I'm afraid to trust because backstabbed too many damn times. And I know I have to still accept responsibility. I still have to be held accountable to it and transparent about it. I have to say it. I'm not trying to sound like a damn Karen or Trying to say, well, it's everyone else's fault. Yeah, maybe, but still, it's mine as well. And I still have to own up to it. And if I can't own up to it, what the hell am I doing? There are some relationships there probably won't be ever again. Maybe in my lifetime. Maybe they'll never be. Maybe they're not supposed to be. Kind of sucks. Or at least I gave it a shot anyway. If there was anything positive added to their relationships, then maybe it was supposed to be worthwhile at that point. I figure we have any reconciliations. Maybe it's up to fate or something. Maybe the fates can guide me on this one. Maybe allow me to apologize one way or another. I'm not blubbering about it. Because I feel like family is supposed to feed you family. It's supposed to mean something. But if it has no meaning these days, then what the hell is it for? It's not just bloodline. A group of people can call themselves family and consider themselves as such. Sometimes I feel like I'm still left out again in the cold. If I could have made amends, I still hold a hand out for it. What can I help you with? What can I do the amend for? If they're going to say there's going to be no amends to be made, and like, then what the hell are we doing just ignoring each other and not being family? Maybe my definitions of family need to be altered and changed. Maybe I need to grow up a bit. But I still got to tr stay true to myself inside. I get sick and tired of getting backstabbed left and right. But I still have to learn how to trust. 
bit of needle, uh, needle pricking was one thing. But don't expect me to be fully appreciative for having an entire blade through my damn chest. And expect you to forgive you. Because at that point, I'll be doing the same damn thing to you.